Looks like that coconut was tougher than it looked. Tom, that thing a rock in disguise. Well, maybe for you, but not for some crabs out there. Their claws can crush with an incredible force. So let's find out what if a crab pinches you. Zoom in. Imagine walking barefoot along a sunny beach, the waves brushing your toes when suddenly, snap! A crab's claw clamps down on your finger. You yelp, jump and probably fling your hand in a mix of panic and reflex. But have you ever wondered what's really happening in that moment? Well, before we explore this fascinating story of biology, physics and survival, let's learn about crabs. Crabs are crustaceans, distant cousins of lobsters and shrimp. And they have roamed Earth's oceans for more than 200 million years. Their most recognizable feature, the claw or chela, is not just for show. It is a multi-purpose tool used for cutting food, building burrows, defending territory and yes, pinching curious humans. Different species of crabs have evolved different claw strengths depending on how they live. The tiny hermit crab, for instance, uses its claws mostly for feeding and protection inside shells. While the burly coconut crab wields its massive pincers to crack open coconuts, one of the toughest natural shells on the planet. If we were to talk about the strongest crab pinch ever measured, the coconut crab, Bigus latro, wins by a landslide. Scientists measured its pinch force and found that large individuals can exert nearly 1,800 newtons of force. That's more than twice the bite force of a human molar. The reason behind this jaw-dropping strength lies in its claw anatomy. Powerful muscles attached to a lever-like structure that maximizes grip power. For perspective, human hands average around 300 to 500 newtons of grip strength using all five fingers. And a single claw from a large coconut crab can easily surpass that. So, what happens if such a creature pinches you? Well, the first thing is intense pain, a high-pressure squeeze that can crush soft tissues and cause deep bruising. Your body's pain receptors instantly send warning signals to your brain and you will likely pull away reflexively. Though crabs sometimes hold on tighter if they feel threatened. While a bone break is unlikely for a healthy human, it is not impossible if the crab is large enough and latches onto a smaller extremity like a finger or toe. Fortunately, crabs do not pinch out of malice. To them, your hand might look like a rival, an intruding predator, or just something that got too close for comfort. So, if you ever find yourself on the unlucky end of a crab's claw, the best strategy is not to yank your hand away immediately. That sudden movement can make the crab feel more threatened, tightening its grip. Instead, stay calm. Yes, easier said than done and gently submerge the crab in water. Most crabs will release their hold once they feel they are no longer trapped or in danger. Afterward, rinse the area with clean water, apply ice to reduce swelling, and watch for any cuts that might need cleaning or medical attention. Remember, these creatures are not trying to harm us. They are just surviving one pinch at a time. 
So next time you spot a crab scuttling across the sand, admire it from a respectful distance. Trivia time! Did you know some species, like the decorator and brown crab, have teeth inside their stomach? Yes, they have a gastric mill in their stomachs that acts like a second set of teeth to grind up their food. Sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Devin Carley. Hope you learned something interesting today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. <laughs> okay, never mind.